Hey, I'm Josh, PreferableLife.com. Super excited. Going to help you improve your SEO today with free tools. We're going to do this in three ways. Number one, you are going to know what queries, what keywords your website is ranking for on Google. And then you are also going to be empowered to look at a specific post or page and know what keywords it is ranking for and know how to improve that post so that you can make more money, maybe have a, a post that makes you money and you wanna work on that one first. And then I'm going to tell you when the best time to improve your SEO is so that you don't just get more traffic, but you actually make sales from that traffic because what's the point of traffic if you're not making sales? Every week I put out new marketing tips, hit subscribe, wanna help you achieve your dreams, live your preferable life, I'm Josh. All right, so what we're gonna do, uh, one of my friends has been improving her, well, she's been blogging for years. And what we got is we got 589 visitors in the last 90 days, and we wanna double that, we wanna triple that, we wanna quadruple that, we wanna crush this for her. So this is Mary. Mary is a awesome helper. I'll put a link to a video that we made on essential oils together. She told me the three best oils, and she's an RN, she does this really powerful thing, works with a naturopath person, RN, that does a biomeridian scan and YouTubes and blogs and lots of stuff. So I got her site pulled up and she's working. She's got 224 results indexed in Google. So she has written blogs, um, I would guess with this 150-ish or so, but maybe even more. And what we wanna do is we want to improve those rankings. So how we do that is we go to Google Search Console. So if you don't have Google Search Console hooked up yet, I will put a link in the description so you can get this hooked up, but it is the only place that you can get 100% accurate data on the keywords that your website ranks for. And I mean, Google literally tells you how to optimize for your posts and pages and all that fun stuff. So it's saying six people from organic search click through in the last, what is this, three months? And we absolutely want to make that higher. So I'm going to click on performance. We go to the performance tab and she's been shown on Google. This is the clicks. This is how many impressions. So how much her blog post and website has been shown on Google 431 times. And we have a click through rate. We have average position down below this data. I'm going to expand this out to 16 months because sometimes if you've been blogging for a while, you have things that were so it looks like her web traffic was a little higher back here, June. Anyways, you want to want to go back year, year and a half, especially if you've been blogging and had these web pages on Google for a long time. You want to get, get as much data as you can. So 16 months, got a filter, 1,200 impressions, 29 click through. These are the words that her website is populating to people on Google. This is crazy powerful. These are the exact search queries that people are putting in Google and her website is populating for. Copa biocannabinoid, <laughs> on guard throat spray, herbs that lower blood pressure, essential oil scanner doTERRA, Itovi collagen hyaluronic acid. So what you want to do is you want to look at these words and you want to which ones are more most important to me. I'm going to guess the herbs that lower blood pressure. Let's let's sort the so you can sort these two. Right now it's sorted by clicks. But impressions is a really powerful thing. So the number one keyword that her web pay, website is ranking for is herbs at lower blood pressure. I would assume that's a very valuable keyword because she sells herbs and people want to buy them. So they are absolutely looking for herbs at lower blood pressure and I want to buy. So I'm going to click on that. Then I want to know what pages on her website, what blog posts are being shown to Googlers. And so I click this pages button. So you got the query, herbs that lower blood pressure. Now I'm on the pages. So here's the page. Powerline Essentials, herbs that lower, lower blood pressure. First thing you wanna do is you want to know if when people land on this page, do they like it, okay? And you do that by the other free tool, analytics. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this here. I'm gonna copy just a few words. I'm going to go to behavior and go to site content and all pages. And I'm going to put in, I only want to see this one web page. 
So herbs that lower, I got that in the filter. And so this is whatever people land on this, they stay for 26 seconds. I would assume they want to stay longer than that. And so we need to fix this page. So what do we got? We have, I recently found this image. We've got to share herbs with lower blood pressure. Blah, 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 herbs with lower blood pressure. All right, so that's why they're only staying here for 26 seconds. We don't have any links to any products. We don't have any links to, we're, we're missing out big time on this, this po post. One, anyways, we're going to fix it. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven, it looks like. So what I would do on this is I would copy, make this my title, and I'd change it to 11 herbs that lower blood pressure fast. Okay, if they don't do it fast, then don't put fast. And we're going to just make a awesome blog post. So we're going to make a list post, okay? I'm going to do one other thing. I'm going to go to Google Incognito, and I think I already did this. Got my second screen off because it makes my face really bright. Working on lighting in my videos, but herbs that lower... Is it blood pressure? No, it's blood sugar we're looking for. Sugar. All right, so there's a list. Great. So we might be able to kick these guys out. What is the best supplement? How do I lower my blood sugar quickly? What spice lower blood sugar? How can I stabilize my blood sugar naturally? I think we'll probably grab this one. All right, so here's our blog outline. We got an H1. You only want to have one of these. And then we have an H2, which is chapter two. We have an H2, which is chapter three. And we have an H3, an H3 an H3. So we got our blog outline. We're going to write an intro here to hook them to read. We're going to give them some tips on diet. Maybe a, I don't know, eat bread. I don't, I don't know. I don't know anything about this stuff. And then we're going to write about these 11 herbs. This is going to probably take her 20 minutes because she knows this stuff in and out. And write about cinnamon, write about clove, write about rosemary, write about oregano. And we're going to put links to her products or Amazon affiliate links so that people can buy cinnamon, buy clove, buy rosemary um, whenever they land on this page. So that's done. That is how you look at it from a query perspective. And there are lots and lots of opportunities for your website. Hey, it's editing day and I missed uh, two opportunities to maximize this query thing. Um, so we got the query herbs that lower blood sugar the page that it is on, I'm going to click the page and that's going to add it as a filter up here. But what I want to find out is what other words that this page ranks for that I can throw into my outline because there's likely other words here. So now I only have the page and I'm going to click the queries button. There's a lot of work, but this is what you got to do to, I mean, skyrocket your SEO. It's crazy powerful. Herbs to lower blood sugar, herbs for blood sugar, herbs for lowering blood sugar, herbs that help lower blood sugar. So not um, really any additional things. There are other queries like uh, type 2 diabetes, lowering blood sugar that this pay post could possibly rank for. And sometimes you get those from here. So we didn't get a lot of uh, value in doing that on this post specifically, but, but many posts have, I mean... Some of the, the bigger ones, probably because it does, doesn't have very many words right now, but some of the bigger ones that we write, I mean, these lists are hundreds and hundreds of words and kind of got to prioritize which ones to get in there. And then I wanted to show you one other tip for, especially for local business. So this is my business website. I don't do much SEO on it. It's kind of funny. And, but I do website design in Springfield, Missouri, whenever you especially a local business, your buying phrases are going to include your town. So I've clicked the filter button on the queries, and I'm going to type Springfield. S-P-R-N-G-F-I-E-L-D. So now I have all the words that I rank for in Springfield, and I need to be maximizing this because this is money that I'm, that I'm, not, that I'm missing out on. Um, so website design, Springfield Mo. Web design company in Springfield Mo. You're going to have 
you know, especially if you're like a CPA or something, you have six ish buying phrases that people are Googling with, with your, your service and your city or your product and your city. And you want to get all these, create pages for all these, create posts for all these. So just looking at this at a, at a glance, I'd have a website design Springfield Mo page. I'd have a WordPress web, web, web design Springfield Mo page. And that'll help you maximize your queries for local business because got to grow local. Now we are going to get into the other way to maximize this improvement SEO stuff, which is going the page route as opposed to the query route. So let's do let's do pages. So say I know that she sells um, offers bio meridian scans. I just want to make sure I'm spelling it right. So what I'm going to do is find a page because she will want to rank for this post. So I'm in my in pages as opposed to query. And I clicked the filter button. And biomarketing scan and nothing pops up. So that is no good. She's not being ranked on Google with a page. So let's do this a different way. Let's do a different page and we'll sort by impressions about Octovi, herbs at lower blood sugar. Okay, let's do this one. Benefits of collagen with hyaluronic acid. So this is probably another buying page, what one that she can make money from. So we're going to click on this page. Instead of clicking on the query, we're going to optimize a page. So you can optimize for queries, or you can optimize a specific post or a page. And what I want to know is what queries this page is populating for on Google. So I click the queries button, and here they all are. So we have one, two, three, four, five keywords that people are searching for and populating, but nobody is clicking through. So no one is clicking through to this web page. What I, this is super powerful. You can export this data. I use Google Sheets because it's right here in Fast and Free. And this is going to be all of the words that we want to include as probably headers, um, all of the keywords. And we want to have this in our meta description. We want to have it in our title, all that fun stuff. Let's see what the post is doing. Okay, benefits of calling hyaluronic acid. So we got benefits. Great, we got some words to work with here. How are people responding to this whenever they land on it? Because you don't want to get more traffic if people don't like the post so how are they doing they're staying on here for about a minute so we need more content to keep them on the page longer to get google to show the post more this is a free tool i'll put a link to a video i made on this but this is how this will help you optimize your on page so we got a title, Benefits of Collagen with Hyaluronic Acid. Collagen has many benefits, improves hair skin. All right, so this is probably why they're not clicking through, is because there is not the words collagen with hyaluronic acid. So this just tells me on the Google page, because whenever people look at this, right here, this is what people see whenever they Google this benefits of collagen. This is what they're seeing. They're seeing collagen has many benefits but it's not telling me collagen and hyaluronic acid. So probably a big reason why people are not clicking through. So they're wanting to know why collagen and hyaluronic acid are put together and what makes it magical, not collagen benefits. They already know the collagen benefits, I would assume. So here are the words. We want to get this word that's the most searched, maybe not the most searched, but the most populated. So I absolutely want to have this in this meta description. I want to show that right here because Google will bolden these words. So what do we do? We add a little bit more content here to get people to spend a little more time on the page. We add these words collagen hyaluronic acid in the meta description because it's already in the title and then we're going to get more people to click through and stay on our blog post for longer so let's talk about when the best time to do this 
SEO improvement thing is. Mary has, about a year ago, she wanted to hire me to do a sales funnel, and I told her no. I said, you need to get engaged in your marketing first. So for the last year, she has been improving in her email marketing. She has been YouTubing. She's been blogging more. She's been working on nurturing her leads. And because it doesn't help to grow traffic and get leads if you don't have a plan system in place to nurture those leads and to turn them into buying customers. It's simple, as you see, to get more traffic. But if you don't have the ability to monetize from that traffic, it's futile and it makes no sense. So I am so proud of Mary. For the last year, she's been emailing her list. She's been making YouTube videos. She's been working on the giving value to establish her no like, and trust with her current customers. And that is going to set this up as the perfect time to get more traffic because she's already emailing regularly. She's already making videos. She's doing everything right on a successful marketing, attention marketing. That's the new game. And that's the thing that if you get more traffic, that's fantastic. But what are you going to do with that traffic? And so that's the big thing I want to leave you with. If you spend the time on optimizing these blog posts, make sure before you do that, I would probably make sure that you have emailing down and make sure that you have, you know, making videos maybe or writing blog post down. And then the other thing is that she already has 150 ish, maybe even more blog posts that she can work, work on. So I, I love how Mary has set this up and it's the perfect time for her to improve her SEO and get more traffic and make more sales. If this helped you out, hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. I'm Josh, preferablelife.com, helping you live out you, your most preferable you, one day at a time. Catch you on the next one. Improve your, fix your SEO. Have more fun.